An excise um, duty cut uh, coming in there on uh, certain sectors uh, today. In fact, uh, on small cars and two wheelers, that's what had been announced from 12% uh, to 8%. And the cut in duty will be applicable up to the 20th of June. That's when the new government is likely to present the full year budget. Um, the finance minister today also cut duty on consumer durables from 12% to 10%. The manufacturing sector needs an immediate boost. Hence, I propose the following changes in some indirect tax rates. To stimulate growth in the capital goods and consumer non-durables, I propose to reduce the excess duty from 12% to 10% on all goods falling under Chapter 84 and Chapter 85 of the Schedule to the Central Excise Tariff Act for the period up to 36, 2014. The rates can be reviewed at the time of the regular budget. To give relief to the automobile industry, which is registering unprecedented negative growth, I propose to reduce excise duty as follows for the period up to 36, 2014. Small cars, motorcycles, scooters and commercial vehicles from 12% to 8%. SUVs from 30% to 24%. Large and mid-segment cars from 27 or 24% to 24 or 20%. Consequently, I propose to make appropriate reductions in excise duty on chassis and trailers. The rates can be reviewed at the time of the regular budget. So prices of small cars, motorcycles and SUVs are all likely to come down by 3 to 4 percent immediately as automakers are expected to fully pass on to buyers the excise duty reduction announced in today's interim budget. Sunanda has more on that for us. Sunanda, what have you been picking up? Well, it's definitely smiles all across the auto industry on the back of uh, those announcements by the finance minister today in that vote on account. A uh, couple of key points, of course, was the excess duty cut on small cars to 8% from 12%. The big one, of course, is the SUV excess duty cut from 30% to 24%. 30% uh, was what was announced, in fact, last year by the finance minister. He's brought that down to 24% on the back of repeated demands from automakers across the board asking for an excess duty cut. Uh, as far as uh, two-wheelers goes, they it's been cut from 12% to 8% uh, as well. Now, analysts are saying they definitely expect that this benefit will get passed on to consumers. In fact, expecting price cuts of anything from 1,500, that's for the lower end of two-wheelers, all the way up to about 60,000 on uh, SUVs. That is what consumers can expect going forward. CM, of course, has welcomed this move. Remember that sales have been falling quite dramatically in uh, the Indian auto industry. In fact, uh, on a year-to-day basis, on a cumulative basis, uh, car sales have fallen almost uh, five odd percent uh, in January. The sales that came out showed an eight percent dip uh, in car sales alone, and therefore this is definitely a, a good benefit coming in for the auto industry. Parapudas Leela that says that it expects that M&M will be the biggest beneficiary from this excise duty cut uh, uh, on SUVs, and Hero Motorcorp from uh, the two-wheeler spaces is top pick uh, uh, on the back of this excise duty cut uh, in the two, uh, on two-wheelers is concerned.